Washington, aboard the President's private plane, comes America's number one visitor. As an honor guard stands at attention, Prime Minister Nehru of India, accompanied by his daughter Indira, arrives for a state visit. At the field to greet the distinguished statesman from India is Vice President Richard Nixon and other government leaders, including Secretary of State John Foster Dulles. He arrives fresh from a conference with Communist China's Zhou Enlai, and at a time when U.S. policy is expected to make a major shift toward emphasis on Asia. Arriving at the White House, the leader of more than 400 million Indians receives a warm welcome from President and Mrs. Eisenhower, who are on the porch of the executive mansion to greet him. Ike, an ever gallant gentleman, personally escorts Mr. Nehru's daughter up the steps to meet Mrs. Eisenhower. Ike sets the tone of the visit. Prime Minister, this is an event uh, to which I have long looked forward. It is a privilege and an honor to welcome you to this land, uh, to this house. Uh, I speak for the American people and the government when I say that we hope you will find your trip here most enjoyable, that you and your daughter will have a visit that's full of interest. We thank you for coming. Mr. President, I am deeply grateful to you for the gracious invitation which has brought me here and for your kind words. I have been looking forward to this visit for a long time and now that I am here I feel happy to be not only your guest, Mr. President, but among the American people who are so very friendly and hospitable. I look forward to these few days here. I am only sorry that my visit is a short one. Thank you, sir. <laughs> 